take one of Chelsea Disaster in the Kitchen. How's it going everyone? It's Justin here in the Delish Kitchen Studios. It is Thanksgiving, which as you may or may not know, for us in food media, this is by far the busiest time of year. I've been working hard and I wanna take a little bit of a break. So I'm gonna have somebody else do the video today. There's some really amazing culinary minds on this team, but I actually think it might be more entertaining to see someone else do it. We're gonna have Chelsea. What? Yep. Who, who did, what? Chelsea, this? Chelsea, the person who has been watching us cook food for years and years and truly like would burn a PB and J if like if she could, um, you're gonna do this. I, Why do you think Tom's I, here? I thought he was help. I, you are a traitor. <laughs> traitor. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. This is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. This is like Yay! It's gonna be great! I think that you have said that your cooking has gotten better. And how long have you been here? Like seven years, right? Yeah. And how? And how's your cooking going? It's, to be fair, I get fed really well here. Can I ask you a question? What do yeah. you usually make on Thanksgiving? I can set the table. I can, <laughs> I can do that. No, it's more like I'm like a gremlin in the kitchen and I'm like snacks, which is really the same thing that I do here. Yep, just, literally, yeah, exactly. Literally, I'm just like, anyway, so you're gonna go from zero to 100. You're gonna be making not just a turkey today, you're making a bacon wrapped turkey today, which is a full turkey wrapped in a bacon weave, um, along with some other goofs and gags and surprises along the way. Uh, just initial reactions, where are you at? Hell. <laughs> Have you ever weaved bacon before? No. You'll figure it out. All right, well, you're not totally screwed here. You are gonna have three lifelines. Uh, the first of which I'm gonna be around today. You can ask me to come help you with like one thing. Okay. Secondly, you at one point can ask the internet a question that isn't like, show me the recipe. So if you're like, what is this ingredient? Or like how to do this thing, you can ask it once. The final and last and maybe most entertaining option uh, is that you can call Kevin, your fiance. <gasps> Insert picture of Kevin here. Okay. Handsome. Okay, great. Okay, you're gonna do great. We have a redacted recipe. It's like great British baking show style where there's like pieces missing and it's not super obvious. Um, but I trust that you'll be able to figure it out. Um, it's simple, I promise. Believe in yourself. Okay. Don't cheat, don't cheat, don't cheat. Bye. Bye. Great. Great. Oh no. Wait, my, I'm I'm processing this <laughs> in real time. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. So what do we do? So we say, "Hi, I'm Chelsea. I'm <laughs> panicking." Okay, I have so many regrets, but that's okay. It's gonna be okay because we're going to do this together, Tom. We're doing this together. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> okay, can you zoom in on this please? You see these things? There are things that are redacted. Um, it looks like I don't have an oven temperature. I don't know how long this is going to cook for. And check after two hours in blank if baking gets too dark. What does that mean? We're gonna start with simple things. We're going to preheat the oven to blank. How, how long do you cook a bird? I do have lifelines. I. I'm not gonna use my lifeline now. Like that seems silly. Like I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble later, but that might be like a major overcalculation because if I don't know how long this is supposed to cook or like the temperature, we're gonna ballpark. We're gonna ballpark. That's what we're gonna do. This is 11 pound bad boy. It's gotta be like around like 350 to 400. So maybe we do like 350, is that the guess? Is that the guess? It says bake. All right, so three, 350 or ooh, or 375. We're just gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what happens. 350 sounds like it's a good solid number. This is, I guess I can just peel it. I gotta get, hold up. <laughs> Am I really doing this? I think this is that moment where like regret and like the realization that this is actually happening just, um, set in. I gotta cut that thing. Yeah, and we gotta take, what is this? Can I just pull it? No, hold on. 
And I guess you cut this plastic thing. I'm trying to do this toward camera because I am in fact a camera person and I feel like that's what I want to see. But maybe doing this backwards might not be the smartest thing I've ever done. Oh God. Whoa. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh God. I'm supposed to take that out, right? Okay, wait. I should have gotten a bowl. Hold please. Bowl for giblets, giblets, lits. I'm feeling actually quite squeamish and I'm surprising myself how squeamish I am. How do I get this out? Like what? Gross. Ugh. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Be brave. <gasps> I, th I think that's the neck. Um, it just tugged free all of this giblet thing, which I guess is just like, I think they use this for gravy, right? But in case, I have a feeling they're gonna be like, oh, you need to save these. That's my, that's my, my foresight. Okay, so I got my bird <laughs> doing great. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna start doing the prep. This is a delish recipe video, so I actually have to say what I'm about to do. So let's talk about some of these ingredients. We have a large red onion. We have a bunch of thyme, a bunch of rosemary, butter, chili powder, which I don't know which one it is, but that's fine. Kosher salt, garlic powder, paprika, and bacon. <laughs> okay, I've seen people do this. I think we're just, um, I think there's like the thing that they do, right? Like the, the little, finger thing, you're supposed to kind of, oh my God, I hate this. I really, <laughs> gonna peel her back. Okay, oh boy. That's some ASMR sound. And we're gonna go like that. Yeah, right? Didn't say how many wedges, large wedges. So I could probably just kind of go like, right? That's a wedge. She's a wedge. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. We're gonna put, you know, these in there. You know what, why am I being gentle? It's fine, I don't need, it's, it's not alive anymore, right? Maybe a little bit more because flavor bombs. Is this enough? Is it enough? It's never enough. Is this stupid? Is this bad? I'm like gauging around the room to see if I'm, if I'm doing something bad. Now I need to tie this with that. Okay, and also it beeped earlier. We're at 350. Was that the right temperature? Who knows? This is probably too much twine. Wait, then, wait, tie legs together and then tuck wings in. Is this not tucked? That's not tucked. What does that mean? What does that mean, tuck in wings? Good old fashioned bunny ears because I never learned to tie my, my shoes um, that well. It's fine, we had enough. She's fine. I think that's gonna work. Wait, tuck in wings, like do you break the wings? Uh, I don't want to use a lifeline, but I kind of do. Do you lift it? This is large. <gasps> that's tuck. No, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Um, how does one tuck? Do, do you tuck in like, like that? I don't know. It's not doing any. I don't know. I'm using my first lifeline. I'm going to Google it. I don't trust myself to make a real decision here. So it is how to tuck in turkey wings. Okay, you just put it under? That's literally it? I think I got it. We're gonna... Uh, nails on the chalkboard. I think you just, um... No, yeah? That's it? I think that's it. You push them in, you push them, you push it in? I think it's gonna stay there like that. Okay, uh, in a medium bowl, stir together melted butter and seasonings, brush turkey all over with butter mixture. I'm gonna just dump this bad boy in this butter, in this thing. And I'm gonna put this in the microwave because I don't like melting things on stove. Come on, melt, baby. 
I think that's good enough, I'm afraid. I don't want this to explode while I'm wearing. Then I'm gonna mixy mix. It's looking flavorful. And then I'm going to brush turkey all over with butter mixture. This could, is this gonna be like a spicy turkey? It could be a really spicy turkey. Um, great. Ooh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty satisfying. I'm just like imagining that I'm like Justin or Brooke right now and they're just like, ooh, look at that shine. But then you're like, no one wants to see this raw meat situation. It's fine. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna like get it all up in here. Can you see this? I didn't think I was gonna use all this butter. Honestly, this is looking pretty good. Maybe it's because it's like not the color of like basically white. All right, I think we all got it. We're good. Place turkey in a roasting pan, place strips of bacon on turkey and weave together. And suddenly I understand why there's bacon here. Okay, so we have a decent bit to work with. How do I make a little weave? I really want to, I want to try it first and then like if I panic, I'm going to call Justin. So I'm going to assume, let's see, okay, so this is like one, two, three, four, five. Five bacons thick. Let's just, let's make that be the, the width there. Five. Right. Oh my god, okay, wait, no, this is math, the math is mathing. That's not, that's not right. Oh, you know what? Okay, wait, I think? Oh, I think you do, you know? Look, that's a first weave. Look at it. Look at it. That's a weave. That is that is a that is a weave. There's I think I'm onto something here. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. It's gotta go like that. <gasps> Confidence. Why are you letting me do this? I feel like this is a big moment of growth for me. Okay. So no. Yes. And then it's like this. I was just told that I was doing it better than the recipe, I'm just saying. I keep forgetting how to weave every time that I go and do this. I did that, right? Oh, you're not even looking at the bacon. Look at the bacon! <laughs> right? Wow. Right? <laughs> Genuinely proud of myself. I don't know how I'm gonna transfer this to this. So this actually might not have been a good idea. We will see. I'm using a lifeline. Please get Justin. <laughs> Please up? help, help. To help you with this. Before silliness. you say anything, before you say anything. This looks good. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. I know I was maybe supposed to put that directly on, but I thought this was easier and I wanted Yeah, it to, says it. I know. It says to do that. But I couldn't visualize it. And so now what I need your help with is redoing your work and putting no, it back no, on the turkey. No, 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 no. I want to take this and I would put it on this. That's so, not going to work. Yes, it will. The two of us with like fish spatulas or something could just like, did you, did you? That's what we're going to have to do, but it's so silly. Why? Don't not follow the recipe. No, but I did. I, I didn't. Rule number one in cooking. No, because. Don't do what you want. Hang on, hang on. Oftentimes, delish recipes get comments like, I added yogurt and I didn't use the blender and instead I used like my hands and this was terrible. It's because you didn't follow the recipe. Follow the recipe, guys. No, I might have another idea, but no, I- we're gonna do it this way. No, wait, I have another idea. Hold well, on. Can I say something quickly? Yeah. Wolverine. <laughs> Here's the thing. We could take all the, the spatchy spatches and you know, bloop and then bloop. Can we just, can we just appreciate this moment? <laughs> okay, wait, so let's hold just, on, just hold see. On, hold on, hold on. Are you sure we can't just, okay, great. You need to do, yeah. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. Okay, very carefully slide your boys up. Think. See, that wasn't so bad. Okay, bye. Of his bye bye. Bye. Please. Do you know what you're doing next after this? No. No. Okay, have fun. Bye. I'm gonna bring this, which I think this should fit. Bake for blank hours or until an instant read thermometer inserted into the thigh registers 165. 
check after two hours in blank if bacon gets too dark. Can't be harder than the spatula, the four spatulas I just used. Oh, she's heavy. Okay. In here. Okay. Goodbye, my little friend. Okay, so now I guess the hard part is done and now I can wait and hang out for nope. two, no, no. Why? Giblet gravy. Clearly they couldn't just let me make my turkey and chill for a minute. Okay, oh no, okay. Step one, remove liver from giblets and chill in the refrigerator until ready to use. Okay, so let's grab this. I'll be honest with you, it took me a good 10 minutes of me just standing and staring at this bowl uh, to figure out which one the liver was. And I think it's the goobly goop one. We got the neck thing, kidney question mark. I like don't want to touch it. Hold, hold please. Oh, I touched it. Oh, I touched it. Okay, I think this. This is the liver. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. So I think the first thing I need to do is do some chopping. Okay, quartered, cool. Set that aside, one carrot halved. Do I have to peel this? It didn't say peel it. We're gonna get rid of the stem at least. Six cloves garlic mashed. Oh, that's like when you do the thingy. Okay, well thank you for peeling these. I can smash, smash, right? That's a smash, isn't that right? Wow. I've seen, I've seen a couple chefs do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so six, okay, so two. Um, mo most famous chef I've ever met, Mark wants to know. I feel like the fa most famous chef would have to be Guy Fieri, maybe? He also like definitely like was testy in the beginning and then I realized that he was just like messing with me and so that I did it back and he was the nicest human after that. I was like, oh, I understand. It's like that kitchen, that kitchen attitude, you know? And also I met, didn't really work with, but I met the Gordon Ramsay and like, oh, love him. Love, love, love. All right, so I got my big measuring, my huge measuring guy and it says that I need to have six cups of low sodium chicken or turkey broth. Glug, glug, glug. Yes, six cups. In a large saucepan over medium heat. Um, we're gonna put all that. Then we're gonna put the, the quartered onion, the carrot, garlic cloves. Okay, um, garlic, the sage. Okay, so this is the sage. This is the, the rosemary, no, thyme. Time for time, I'm just, I'm just gonna put the whole thing. Okay, wait, and then broth, right? No, it like wants to spill, it's fine. We don't need these, right? I'm just gonna, there was extra, it made sense. Bring to a boil, so you know what? We're gonna turn this up and it smells really, really good. Um, we're definitely boiling, which means that we're going to put this down into a simmer which I think is just like around like the one, two, three low mark because it doesn't say sim or anything. Reduce, okay, so reduce heat, cover, and let simmer very gently for an hour. I think more time means more flavor. So let's just, let's just say that. So you remember how I had all that butter when we were, you know, buttering the turkey? Here's the thing. Biggest insider information that I've learned from working at Delish and just being a part of this industry is that Everything is well seasoned with salt and pepper. I mean, if you want it to taste good, don't skimp on the fat and the salt. It's it's okay. You don't want to go crazy all the time, but that's why I like, you know, eating out just tastes so delicious. They're really going in, you know? And I think that that turkey is gonna be awesome because it's got all of that seasoning and all of that butter. And then this is gonna have butter. So butter equals better. So while this is um, simmering and covered, I noticed that the turkey, like the bacon is looking darker and that's making me panic. I think we can agree. This is 
doing the bacon things. I don't want that to get much darker. I'm gonna assume that this is like a pie. You don't want it to like burn on top. So we're gonna cover it with tin foil. That's what I think is that says, check after two hours and cover if bacon gets too dark. It doesn't say tin foil, but I'm gonna assume it's tin foil because I don't wanna start a fire. <laughs> I'm not gonna take the whole thing out. I'm gonna, um, this is enough. Satisfying. Okay, well, good. Um, okay. It's like covered ish. Okay. Bye! This has been going for a while. It definitely looks like it's cooked through. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna put the liver back in. Tasty. All right, so I let this go for 20 minutes because I was scared, like afraid that it wouldn't be food safe. So I let that go. Strain broth, discard neck and all veggies. Uh, you should have about two and a half cups stock at this point. Finally chop all giblets and set aside. All right, I'm throwing out the neck first because that seems like the right thing to do. Oh boy. Bye. Oh God. Okay, and then I'm gonna start straining things. Oh look, look at me straining. Everything else that's not the neck is giblet. Okay. So I need that. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a bone to my fiance because he makes a lot of homemade chicken stock and I've seen him rig this little system here. Um, and I thought that that would be the best solution to not make a mess. And he was right. So you know what? Thanks, baby. I don't think I need any more. I've also seen Kevin do this. So I'm just gonna smush it down to get extra flavor bits maybe. No. Finally chop all the giblets and set aside. Finally chop. I'm gonna pretend like, like I'm doing this right. It's rubbery. I might, I'm gonna chop this up, but I'm gonna leave that aside because now I'm nervous that I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm gonna leave that alone right now. I might not even include it. I don't, I don't really know. Finely chopped. Doesn't that mean like, almost like a mince? But, you know. Oh, I like that technique. Is that a good technique? Look at me. Um, yeah, that seems like it's, right? Um, I'm gonna use my lifeline because I really just like don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to use that. I just wanna be sure. I'm gonna be sure. Oh. Hi, are you there? Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Hello. Hello. He's there. We're doing great. I need to finally chop all the giblets and set aside. I'm like, is it the liver the and and this stuff? Giblets, giblets are any organ meat. They're any also, yeah, any organ meat. Any organ meat. Great. I'm just gonna finally chop all of that and then I think this is uh making a roux. For it, right? You do. Yeah. If you want to be special, you can take some of the drippings from the turkey. Ooh. Uh... Your time is up with Kevin. Please say goodbye. Okay. Bye. My time is up. Great. Love you. Bye. To be honest with you, that man's love language is feeding me, and I'm I'm okay with that. I am the the food is the way to my heart. All right. Um, Mark wanted me to point out that Kevin, who is the big chef of the household, who like makes homemade ramen and his own pizzas and his own dough because he's so very good at it, um, is a mechanical engineer. Meanwhile, me, who's worked at, you know, within food media, doesn't know much. Yes, I see that that's ironic. Really, really do. In my opinion, liver can be delicious. Whatever that rubbery thing is, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. No, the texture wasn't right. This is gonna be tender. That'll be nice, it'll be nice. This, no. Bye. It is time to move on to our um, butter and flour, which I think is like the roux, which is gonna make the gravy good. Just go with it, cool. Okay, and <laughs> we're gonna just, we're gonna melt her. I really look like I know what I'm doing. And now that our butter is melted, we're gonna put in our flour and we're gonna sprinkle, sprinkle. 
<laughs> wow. And then we're gonna whisk it until it's golden brown. I mean, this looks pretty good. To me, that looks gold. That's golden, right? Right. Half cup of strained giblet stock into gravy at a time. Uh, because I know I can eyeball a half cup. I don't know what that was. Oh, it looks like it's doing something, right? It's looking. I will actually, I'm gonna say it smells really good. Okay, you know what? This might be delicious. If I do this well, I don't think that Kevin's gonna be like, oh, you need to cook more. Truly, he loves to cook and I just don't, I don't. I like to stir. Is this fun? <laughs> so I'm just gonna, there's probably a better way to do this. I don't really know what the best way to do this is. And then I'm gonna stir it all in. That's fine. Okay, ooh, oh, okay. It is much thicker. Last but not least, I'm gonna um, use my spoon again and taste it because I don't want it to be too salty before I add in the salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna... Oh! That's lots. <laughs> That's good. That's good! Wow, okay. Um, I don't think I need as much salt. I might do a little bit, like little, little bit. We're definitely gonna do some pepper because that's what the recipe says. Um, but that tastes really good. Um, wow, okay. I think we're done with the gravy. I think we, I think we, I think I made gravy. Listen, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm just saying. Um, so this looks really, really good. I'm going to cover it and set it aside because I guess it's done. And now all we have to do is check the turkey and see if I didn't mess that up, which um, TBD. I mean, it looks, wow. The bacon is baconing. Again, this is what food people do. They're just like, hey, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Yeah. So food safe is 165. They did tell me that in the thing. Um, it's not ready. She is not ready. I think what I'm gonna do is pump up the temperature on the oven to 375 and see where we're at in the next 20, 30. Pray for me. Goodbye, my friend. May you come back. Oops. <sighs> come back later. Just, just come back later. Yeah. It's been about another 25 minutes, and I really hope that it's reading the, the temperature that I needed to. Oh, God. What have we done? <laughs> Um, exactly that. This looks good. This looks good. Bacon looks really crispy. I'm gonna see what this temperature is. Okay, it is food safe. Hold on. Oh yeah, this is done. I'm gonna let this rest for a bit um, and then I'm going to cut it up and then we're going to try it with my gravy. I hope it tastes good. Look at what I made. Um, I'm actually really proud of this. The bacon looks really good. I hope that Justin and really the Delish team are proud of me because that looks professional. Hopefully Justin likes it and I would like him to come back. So Justin, come in. Wow. What do you think? What do you think? Oh Here. my God. Here. Anytime anything is dropped on the table, and it's your meal, they're gonna be like, wow, Chelsea. And that's what this moment is. It's like, wow, beautiful. Look at it. I think it looks awesome. Truthfully told, I honestly thought you were gonna crush the turkey, so I'm not surprised. This looks great, the coloring on everything else. I'm really glad that you put foil over the bacon so it didn't burn. I think that looks awesome. I'm here to cook, I'm not here to cut. I'm done. I'm oh, I'm out. doing it? You're cutting it. So, I will say, it yeah. looks pretty moist. It doesn't feel dry, it's totally cooked. Can I also do something that I've wanted to do since we, we put this on here? Sure. Yes! You know what? Great. That's good. I, when people order well done bacon, people usually burn it. Oh. It'll taste terrible. This is like good, crispy, 
slash chewy. You do it first. I'm trying I'm... without the, the gravy first. I'm okay. gonna try all the components by themselves. I'm like actually nervous. Like my, my I have like tummy butterflies. One, cheers. Cheers. Dink. Okay. Great. What? That's it's good. Very good, I will say. Oh. It's a teensy, teensy bit dry. If we take like from the more inner part yeah. of the blade, I'm sure that will be better. The thing that I did differently in this that I kind of strayed from the recipe was that um, I didn't add all of the giblets. I only added the liver. Mm -hmm. That turkey is better and more moist. Let me finish the gravy. Is this what you feel like when like Rob comes in and like, Kind of. It's scary. No, this is really good. <laughs> this okay. is delicious. I'd want that, like, I want, like, a poutine with that gravy. Okay. Super yummy. I'm genuinely, I'm not going to say shocked because I do appreciate all of the hard work. I think you're a very competent, great person. But, like, this is really impressive for your level of cooking skill. I think for, like, how you have described what you do in the kitchen. Yeah. Like, you should be super soaked if your family asked you to cook turkey for Thanksgiving. Family, no, no. No, come on. <laughs> Hype it up. No, no. Luckton family, make her do it. Uh, yeah, Kevin's yeah, yeah. going to sit this one out. No. Chelsea's going to crush it. I'm going to do no. this. High five. Take this piece of bacon. Oh. I'm going to take it in the gravy. I'm going oh. to have to have yeah. it. Yes. Come down for it. Okay. Great job. Proud Yay! Of you. I think this looks really great. Um, you know, everybody's got to have their, you know, one time cooking their turkey. So all in all, if I can do this, so can you. Uh, get in the kitchen, try a recipe you've never tried before, maybe make a turkey during the holidays, or at least a side. But if I can do it, you can do it. That's the, that's the lesson here. I would say that the gravy is awesome. I'm gonna be dipping my bacon in that for a while. And this is my dinner. Please, someone help me eat this. Here. Tom's just like, I have three fours yes. that are ready. <laughs> what do I do with my <laughs> Yeah? Yeah? Mm -hmm. No, you killed it. Oh, good. 